So that's why they're interested in it. When they saw that, they wanted to go there. Yeah.
is our 18th annual Hiroshima Nagasaki Remembrance, honoring those who suffered the atomic bombing in 1945. Each August throughout Japan, people gather to float lanterns in honor of those victims and all who suffer in wars. Tonight, we reaffirm our commitment to ending nuclear proliferation and all war warfare. My name is Beverly Bean. I'm the chair of the Women's International League for Peace and Freedom, Monterey County Branch. And our event tonight is also sponsored by the Peace Coalition of Monterey County, the Monterey Peace and Justice Center, the Monterey Peninsula Friends Meeting, the Quakers, and the Veterans for Peace, Monterey Chapter 46. If you would like to make a contribution to this year's Peace Lantern Ceremony, there are several donation jars on tables on the landing. I want to thank Shinso Mugen Daigo, the wonderful Taiko drummers, for their exciting performance. Herbert Hoover wrote, the use of the atomic bomb with its indiscriminate killing of women and children revolts my soul. Peace Lanterns. Let us gather, light candles, observe a moment of silence. Remember the victims, repudiate atrocities executed under our name. Let us stand on Pacific shore Envision hands joined in creation rather than unconscionable acts of hatred tearing apart. Let us illuminate hearts in quiet affirmation of nonviolence, ignite peace lanterns, fold paper cranes, treat our neighbors as we wish to be considered, vow to make war obsolete. Thank you. This poem's called Bless. Oops. I think that's what it's called anyway. When I sneezed, the man sitting several rows back, the only other person in the theater, it being a weekday matinee, said, bless, not the customary bless you. The previews had finished, but the movie hadn't begun. His command knocked about inside me, bless. I'm not religious exactly, but could he have been a messenger? Or was he just an unemployed middle-aged guy getting out of the rain for a couple of hours? It felt a fitting command with war on the horizon, ashamed of my country, the powerlessness consuming me. Not that I thought he had chosen the right person for the job, but perhaps this small thing would be possible. I don't know how to bless exactly. You know, maybe it's close to love, and I can do that. Offer it to anything in need of some invisible joy. No, to hell with need. I'll just take up love. Conjure it for husbands and wives and wife beaters. Love for young girls who doubt their beauty. For the child who refuses his dinner and the child without anything to eat. Why not love the sky? despite the fog on a summer day. 
How about the chef in his soft, splattered apron? The shoe salesman and his unbuckling? Impatience and ambition? Sure. My frustration and fear? Certainly. Could this be the beginning of something? Will hatred have to back up an inch or two, stumble, then slink behind the corner shamefaced? And in that absence, might goodness step forward in a wide skirt and scuffed shoes and dance, commanding everybody's attention, as we have always known that love could. Thank you. Spirit of life, God of many names, creative force of love in the universe. We gather here this evening to remember together. We remember the events of August 1945, the atomic bombings of Hiroshima on August 6th and Nagasaki on August 9th. We remember these events of 77 years ago and the many victims our fellow humans who suffered, so many loved ones who were lost. We remember with sadness, with compassion and love, honoring their memory with our presence here. In front of the Hiroshima Peace Memorial's eternal flame, the inscription reads, rest in peace. We will not make the same mistake again. We are here to remember and also to resolve, to continue the challenging struggle of nuclear disarmament and to work for global peace, to remember the victims and to prevent the making of the same mistakes ever again. May this Peace Lantern Ceremony, its rituals, words, and music, inspire us to recommit ourselves to the goal of world peace remembering those who have suffered and the lessons we have learned. Let us resolve to work for more love, more justice, and more peace here and around the world.
may it be so.